Hey guys, welcome back to Bright Star. So Byron Katie has a quote. I'm in love with what is, not because I'm a spiritual person, but because it hurts when I argue with reality. So that is the topic for today. Arguing with reality and how to, I'll say, stop the war with reality. I have found that in my life, a lot of pain and suffering comes from arguing against what is, fighting against the current situation as it is. And so there is a balance between how do you push yourself, how do you push yourself to improve yourself, while at the same time having some love and compassion for the situation as it is today. Because the truth is, like, it takes time. Anything meaningful takes time. Anything that you want to do and change about yourself, it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. And so there's going to be a period of time where you simply have to accept what is. And so, you know, I've said this before, guys. You accept, you don't condone. So just because a thing happened, just because there is a current situation, doesn't mean that you condone it, but you do accept it. You do accept the way things are. So how do you do that? How does one really sit down and accept reality as it is while also pushing themselves to improve? And the way that I have found to do that is you have to... I'll say give yourself a lot of grace and compassion and you have to give yourself a lot of credit for the work you are doing. Because to me, like that is where the war starts is let's take, for example, here's one that I've struggled with in the past is body image issues, right? I don't have the body that I wish that I had. And so I realized that I was arguing with reality. I was at war with reality because I was saying like, this is not the body I want. It is the body that I had in the moment though. And so how can you accept that body that you have in the moment while also making an effort to improve? The way that you do that is you accept your body as it is and you say, you, you know what? This is the body that I have. This is the result of choices that I have made in the past. And so this is the current situation. I cannot argue with this reality. But then you also celebrate the steps that you're making to improve. So if you are, let's say you are overweight, let's say that, that you are overweight and you're trying to lose weight. You have to accept that, you know, this is the body I have right now. I'm thankful for what I can do and I need to accept this. I'm not going to hate myself now. However, I'm going to make those healthy choices and you focus on those. You focus on, I made a healthy choice today. I skipped the dessert today. I, you know, did my exercises today. Whatever the case may be, as you work yourself towards that improvement, right? Um, and then there are some things in your life, some realities that cannot be changed. A diagnosis, a family member passes away. You know, those of you that know my story, if you follow my blog, but I'm just going to tell you right now, you know, I've suffered grief. I'm part of the grief community, okay? I have suffered two losses, um, significant losses, and then other losses in my life too, okay? Um, just recently, I've had, you know, family members pass away. It's not just, it, so like for me... Um, the two big ones are my brother and my mom, but my aunt just passed away, um, you know, this, this year, um, my grandmother passed away not long ago, you know, I have been through that. So I have, I know grief. And the thing about grief is you can't change it. The person's gone. You cannot change it. There comes a point where you have to accept the reality. And, and the only way to do it is to accept that this is what has happened but don't condone it. Like you, you never say like, it's okay. You just have to understand that this is my new reality. And so then you ask yourself, well, how do I live within this new reality? Like, how are there ways that I can honor my loved one or remember my loved one in a way that, that keeps them in my heart and keeps, um, keeps me going, right? Because that's the balance that you have to play in those cases. Um, and so gratitude goes a long way. So for the situations where you simply cannot change the situation, somebody has a diagnosis, someone has passed away, um, you know, a family member is struggling with something that cannot be fixed, that's when gratitude comes into play and you focus on what you do have. You focus on the, on what you're grounded in. So, you know, I'm still able to I have a good family, you know, like <clears throat> in terms of a good family, like I have strong family connections. Um, I, I have food on my table. I have a roof over my head. I have support. I have people who are here for me. Right. Those are the things that you focus on. Like, yes, my loved one has passed away, but I do have. What do I have? What can I focus on? Um, really quick side story that I shared, um, you know, recently is 
um, I had a I had a coworker who was telling me about his his wife or I'm sorry his sister and his mom that were going through some really hard health issues and he had a really positive attitude and I said wow you know how do you do that like how do you keep a positive attitude in the face of everything that's going on and he said you know I just focus on what I do have I focus on I've got a I've got good food on my plate I've got a nice house you know I and I he's like and I can complain about the little things because I'm that's just who I am and that's just part of you know my personality and it's fun and that's what I do <laughs> and like it was great because I mean he was able to accept his light like not argue with reality and then find some things within that reality that he could celebrate and enjoy and be thankful for so that's really where gratitude is a huge huge help is when you have a situation that just cannot cannot be changed so quick recap um you know the the opening quote today was uh from byron katie I'm a lover of what is, not because I'm a spiritual person, but because it hurts when I argue with reality. So, and and if you find, you will find that that is, for me, it's very true. That when you argue with what is, if when you argue with the current state of affairs, it hurts. And so how can you get out of that? You have to accept what is, don't condone it, accept what is, and then focus on what you do have. Focus yourself on gratitude, on the aspect and on the good work that you're doing to improve your situation. Focus on that instead and stop arguing with reality. That's all I got today, guys. Thanks. Bye.